I want to give a shout out to everybody that's uh, doing honest business. Um, just being a, a, a man or a woman of their word. And uh, doing what they said they were going to do. Um, shout out, you know, shout out to y'all. I've had uh, people come get uh, dogs or, or money, uh, borrow money. Um, she don't pay it back as far as the money go. Uh, even on the dog tip, too. We're going to talk about these dogs. Like I said, I don't know how long I'm going to be. Uh, I'm going to just, uh, you know, tell a couple, you know, a couple stories about how people came and, uh, you know, got, got pups from me and, and then, uh, follow through with what they said they was going to do. Uh, she, 2000 and, uh, she first story, 2007, um, had a litter on the ground, uh, blue Brenda litter. I uh, had a blue brindle female bred to a blue brindle male. Uh, they spit uh, all blue brindles and one solid white one with a blue nose. He was all white with a blue nose. Uh, but it was a, it was one of the pups in the litter, a uh, blue brindle uh, pup. Um, I was working with a guy, working with a, a, a woman rather, and I was just telling her about the puppies. She was like, yeah, my boyfriend, you know, he want to get one. He looking to, you know, he want to get him a blue dog or whatever. I said, well, I got some, you know, I got some on the ground. I think I might have had like four left, three left, something like that. Uh, she was like, well, I'll tell him, I'll tell him. So maybe a week go by. She was like, how many you got left? I said, I got like two left. She was like, what's your number? So I gave her name with Tanya. So I gave Tanya my phone. And we was, uh, we used to work together at, uh, at BFI, well, it was uh, got bought out by Allied Waste. So, well, anyway, we were, we were drivers. Um, I was a garbage truck driver. She was a garbage truck driver. So, anyway, to make a long story short, she uh, got my number, gave it to her boyfriend. Uh, he hit me up, um, pulled up at the house. I wrote out a promissory note. I think I was asking like maybe six hundred for these puppies. It was like an old seven, six seven hundred dollars. He paid me, uh, gave me some up front and promised to, you know, make payments. Never did. You know what I'm saying? Never paid for the dog, never fell through with uh, what he said he was going to do. You know, now I'm seeing her at work. I ain't saying nothing to her about, you know what I'm saying, that he ain't paid me for my dog. I ain't made, I ain't said nothing to her because she ain't got nothing to do with it. You know, that's between me and him. He made the agreement with me. You know, he signed the promissory note. Uh, that I wrote up, you know, so, but uh, anyway, he didn't pay for the dog, so let's fast forward to 2012 or 13, I want to say maybe 12, I saw him in church, and uh, he played, uh, he played in the, in the, uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the band, you know, I think he played the drums, I think. So I seen him or whatever, you know, it was awkward, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the, that's the, that's the elephant in the room. As soon as I see, you know, you owe me, even it's, even though it's what, five years ago, you know, you never paid me. So I asked him about the dog. Oh yeah. You know, I had, uh, uh my cousin had moved to Atlanta. I let my cousin took the dog to Atlanta, some, some or whatever. And that was even gave me, no man, hit me up, man. You know, come down to the crib, chill and play Madden. And I, right. you know what I'm saying? I don't play man, but I. Right. Uh, so that that's one that's one situation. Uh, another situation, man. I had a guy. Um, he came and got a dog from me, and it, and I trusted this dude because this dude was in the military and he was a Freemason, right? So I'm like, I know, I know a couple of Freemasons that's some real solid guys, some good guys. So he never he never paid for his dog. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but I don't really like to do, um, payment plan with people. I, I really don't because, I mean, honestly, like, you got to look at it like this. Your dog, paying you for your dog is not their priority. 
you know, when they're in a the household or whatever and, you know, they want it at the time, but paying paying you for your dog is not their priority. Trust me. It might be getting the outfit, uh, paying their bills, you know, but at the same time, you shouldn't make deals with people if you know you can't pay because everybody know what their money is. Everybody know what their bills is like. It ain't like people just have, because a lot of times people hit you with the, uh, I had an unexpected bill. You pretty much know how much your bill is going, your utility is going to run every month. You know what your rent is every month or your mortgage. And you know how much, you know, you like, you know how much your, your, your utilities are. You know how much your mortgage is. You know how much your insurance is. You know this monthly how much it's going to cost. You know also how much you bring in a month. You know this already. Um, so, it shouldn't be no uh, surprise I had something come up or I had a, a unexpected bill come up. It shouldn't be nothing like that. Um, but that's what they hit you with. So, but now I hadn't been here with the, you know, I had a bill come up or whatever. Um, the two people I told y'all about, they just, um, you know, just didn't pay. You know, and I, I don't chase people down when they owe me money, man. I don't. I don't chase them down and blow their phone up or whatever. I don't do that. I might make one call and that's it. Maybe two, but uh, I, don't, I don't chase them down. No matter, you know, if it's a small amount of money or if it's a, well, I hadn't really, I, I, I wouldn't say because I hadn't really uh, loaned out like a large, or I have loaned out a large amount of money, but I've gotten it back. Put it to you like that. So, but I'm saying if I was old, you know, maybe let's say two, three grand. Hey, I'm going to kind of, you know, kind of be, and you going to also know the seriousness of it too. Cause it's like, shit, this, this ain't no three, four hundred dollars. This is like two, three thousand dollars. So it ain't like you going to duck and dodge and, you know, you know, you had to pay that back. So yeah, I would probably contact somebody more if it was that amount of money. than I would, let's say if it's three, four hundred dollars. Um, but yeah, so you can't pay for a dog, man. Just don't, don't get it. I, I tell you what, yesterday, just yesterday, my guy, he, uh, he went and got a dog, a, a pup from a dude. And, uh, you know, he put you know, he got him on, on the plane, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, so he's supposed to pay it out in two installments, you know, going to pay the pup out. So, I mean, they, and this was just yesterday. Um, they trust each other. They work together. So, you know, it shouldn't be no, you know, no issues about the money. Um, if, if, if you owe me money right now for a dog, I ain't, I'm not talking to you. You know, we've talked about it. You know, we've had a sit down and, you know, we talked about, you know, the situation. So I'm not talking to you. Them two stories I gave was from like 07 and sure probably 08, 09 or something like that. So, but yeah, if you, if you can't, uh, if you come to somebody's house and, and, uh, I mean, come to somebody's property, you want what they got, man, pay them for it. You know what I'm saying? Don't come up with certain things that, that, that's the reason why you can't pay or why you think you shouldn't pay, you know, because that's what they'll do. You know what I'm saying? They'll come up with, uh, with, uh, uh, things like, well, why did I tell you another thing? Remember I told you, I said I had to eat the Blue Brunner litter, right? And the dude, now he paid for him. He paid. He, he I put. He was on a payment plan too. He paid me out, but it was something like some hair was missing on. It was an all white one. It was some hair missing on the puppy foot, and he had to go to the vet and get like some antibiotics. It wasn't nothing, but he tried to like you know say, well, I had to take him to the vet. I said, well, man, I mean, you bought the pub like that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no big. It wasn't nothing major. It was just like he had some hair missing on one of his foot. Like at that time, I didn't have him on flooring. Uh, I had the kennel sitting on dirt. So maybe and then some dirt might have caused a little uh, infection in one of his toes and caused some of his hair to come. But that was it. That was, that was, it wasn't nothing, man. That dog, you know what I'm saying, that, he had that hair grew back and that was nothing. But he tried to, you know what I mean, that dude that had that white when his name was Snow, me and that dude, we cool to this to this day. You know what I'm saying? We cool to this day. Uh, I sold them other dogs since then. Uh, you know, and he, you know, paid me, you know, made made payments on the dog. And me and him ain't had no issue. So I met him in 07. So we talking, it's 2024. So we've been cool. We've been friends almost 20 years. 
behind these dogs. You know, so, but I like when I first, but that's when I first met him, he was like, well, I had to take Snow to the vet. He had some hurt missing on his foot. I'm like, well, you know, and I mean, I understand it, but I mean, you bought the puppy like it was. It ain't like you had no big deal. You know, they charge you for, I back then, an office visit was $35. They might have gave you some pills for 15 Your bill probably wasn't even $60, you know, so. You know, so when he came on through and paid me what he owed me. But uh, but what's been going on recently uh, on YouTube or whatever, it's a, a pretty uh, well-known pit bull breeder. Um, allegedly owed some money for, uh, you know, to somebody, to another kennel for... Um, for a dog or a couple of dogs or whatever. I actually heard the story when we heard PBK talk about it Friday. But see, I heard about it like a week or two before that. And I never even, you know, I didn't talk about it. You know, so I didn't even tell him about it. I was surprised that he started talking about it Friday. Um, But yeah, so I mean, I, I would like to hear that dude come up on PBK uh, channel and, and uh, you know, and tell his side, you know, tell what happened. And I'm also waiting for the other dude to, you know, respond to this, you know, because he normally respond to things like that when it's attacking his character and his integrity. You know what I'm saying? So we, we waiting for you to say something. I ain't got to say a name. I don't have to say a name at all because I don't want to say I'm stalking him or I'm obsessed with him, which I'm not. You know what I'm saying? So we'll just wait and, uh, you know, and, and see what you got to say. I know you heard what was said Friday. And he spoke on the Saturday. So we want to see what, we want to hear what you got to say about it. You know, so, but yeah, so like I said, man, if you, if you can't, uh, if you just can't buy something, you just don't, I mean, I know some people do payment plans, but man, I mean, I think what's going to call it. Uh, I was watching his video last week, Butler Kennels. He breeded Rottweilers. And he was saying he do payment plans $100 a month. Now his dog be like, I think his puppy started like six grand. So he do a hundred dollars a month on his dogs. You know, that's what he that's what he uh that's what he uh that's what he said. Uh, you know, he he'll do a payment plan. So uh, you know, man, people doing payment plans and but see I'm gonna tell y'all something else. A lot of time, that's how a lot of time dogs get bred without no paperwork too, because people don't get through paying for the dog. Of course, the breeder going to hang on to the paperwork. So when the breeder hang on to the paperwork, you know, you see, but you got the dog. He growing up, he looking good, got good genetics, good traits. You go ahead and you breed the dog. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't got the papers because you didn't get through paying for the dog. So I see a lot of that go on with these dogs, man. So I've seen over the years go on. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting about some, uh, some payment plans. Uh, where I haven't been paid, uh, you know, for for uh for my for my dog for my pup or whatever. I just can't think about it. Uh, just at the moment, you know what I'm saying. So, but yeah, if you if you and then another thing, like I don't like giving somebody some. If I give you a dog and you want to get rid of, get a dog back. Give me the option of getting the dog back first. You know what I'm saying. If I give it to you for free. Hit me up. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You want the dog back? And if I say no, nah, then you go to the next part. But just give me the first option to uh, acquire my stock back before you let anybody else get it. If I gave it to you. Now, if, I, if you bought it, hey, you ain't got to give it. You you can give me an option to buy it back, but you don't necessarily have to give me the first option. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even look at you funny if you didn't. You know, because that's your animal and you know you can do what you want to do with it. But if it's given to you for free, hey, just hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Give me the first option. Uh, let me see. That's pretty much it, man. Just, you know, the payment plan talking, you know. And like I said, you you get something from somebody, man, we got to make good and, and handle our debts. In, in, in 2024, handle your debts, man, and, and, and make good on Do what you say you're going to do. You know, people talk like they stand up guys and and this and this and that, and quick to throw insults and call names and shit like that. And I'm sitting back listening like, you saying all this about me, and I'm knowing you owe somebody. And I'm just saying it, and, and the reason why I'm saying it like I believe the other guy is because I'm a breeder. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm, I just told y'all a few stories right now. I'm not making this shit up. 
I'm not making it up right now. I'm being honest with y'all. So, I mean, that's why I'm inclined to, you know, believe uh, what was said uh, by the breeder without hearing the side of the other person, you know, and I ain't got to say who that is. So, I mean, so like I said, man, in 2024, uh, y'all handle your debts, man. And, and it's Sunday and I hope everybody have a good Sunday and a good Labor Day and don't eat too much barbecue. <laughs> All right, later.